Gordon, could I start off by asking just for your assessment of the, the performance as a whole, please? 25 attempts at goals. That says it all. Um, 48 for the last two games. So that's good enough to win games of football. If you make the amount of chances, you don't make the chances at all all the time at international level. So the work they put in, the running off the ball, the bravery, um, says 48 attempts at goals, that's not bad. We could have scored more goals tonight, but maybe a wee bit tired after after um, Friday, getting back and things like that. So that was more than enough. That was more than enough tonight. And then we got to the point where the boys just wanted to kill the game off, make sure we kept the ball. And actually when we kept the ball better, the last 10 minutes we made another couple of chances. So it's been a it's been a good uh, eight days, been a good eight days for the players. How easy a decision was it to name the the same starting lineup? And in hindsight, do you feel that was the correct one? Twenty five goals, twenty five attempts at goals. You're happy. You're happy then with the way things panned out. I'm happy with twenty five attempts at goals. Yeah. You don't know how don't know how many the last time we had twenty five attempts at goals. Slovakia gave us a wee bit of a fright uh, to start off with, but England got the result, as you'll know. How much are you looking forward to, to the challenge? That did, did they go in the lead, did they? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> a couple of minutes in, I think. All right. England came back and won it. You're just looking at the challenge ahead. How, how, how much are you looking forward to that? Uh, I'm looking to get, uh, go and get a, a decent cup of tea and uh, then start thinking about that later on. I'm not thinking about that just now. What we'll have to do is keep an eye on the players for the next four weeks, five weeks, to make sure that they're on top form. By the time it gets round again, there might be other guys who are ready to go. Maybe other guys who get injured. So I we'll have to keep an eye on all that. So that'll, that's what we'll be doing the next month. Are you delighted that the, the players that were one booking away from missing the next game came through on scheme? That could affect them at times, I think. I think they were just making sure they were never getting involved in anything that might give them a yellow card. I think that affected one or two maybe tackles or going in for the ball and they were just making sure they didn't get involved so they had to try and play really low tempo and even ask them not to get you know excited with the referee or get a yellow card for kind of so it had to be a bit of a more low tempo to make sure the guys got through that so that's a bonus as well legaling off as well how's he it's tight calf um so um, he was a threat so hopefully he'll be fine Hopefully for the, the the game next week. I know they've got a game on Friday, but I think the big one for them. Uh, due respect to Hamilton, but the big one would be the next one. Unbeaten now in four competitive games. How mm. pleased are you with the momentum the squad's building up at the right time? Oh, we're pleased. We're pleased about loads of things. Um, they, they, they had the belief when things were only going well to pick themselves up and go again. Um, it showed no matter what the belief would be elsewhere, they had a belief in themselves. So that was good. So we put ourselves in a position now that if we go into the final couple of games, we still have a chance of getting to the playoffs. If someone had said to you after the first four games you would be in this position, would you have taken a bit in their hand off for it? Well, it might have been that nasty, but I would have <laughs> went, yeah, thanks very much. And do you think that, that, that last minute goal against England, you know, so where we could have been. But we're still there. Gordon, the, the fact that you didn't know about the England game, was that deliberate? Did you ask not to be told about it? Because it seemed hard not to be aware of what was going on. I, I, seriously, Robert, I didn't, didn't even think about it. I had the roll midway, maybe 30 minutes, and I thought, well, that's some score. But I didn't know that the other team had had uh, scored for us, Slovakia had scored for us. didn't know that at all. Any other I think I had enough to worry about at the time, to start worrying about something else. <coughs> Uh, Gordon, Lithuania, uh, not Lithuania, uh, Slovenia, uh, pulled level with you tonight uh, ahead of you on, on goal difference. But, you, you know, your fate's in your own hands. Win your last two games mm -hmm. and you're there, you don't really have to worry about anything else than that, yeah. do you? Yeah, I'm all right with that. So I, I think when you get to the stage and you say your fate's, if the, the tournament is in your hands, that's, that's all you can ask. We can look back over the tournament and think we could have done better there, there and there. Um, but we're, we're trying to make up for bad performances or low-key performances by doing the best we can.